good night, good night, everybody. Welcome to the Real Talk Show. I'm Kyle Joseph, and on my right hand side, well, my left hand side, I guess here tonight is right for the screen. Is Oni Kanarain with the Phoenix? Good night. I'm fine. Just doing, doing wonderful. Good night to everyone. Pleasure to be hot. with you all as usual. I see huh? hot sun on your side and the world. Yes. It's hot sun but on your side. Different. Well. It's a different in Italy. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then we have our a special guest here tonight. Her name is Roseanne. Hi, Roseanne. How are you doing? Hi, great. Awesome stuff. And then you all know Eva. Her name is no longer Del. It's Ned. Who is the CD Eva? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you remember my name, Kyle. Um, good night, Facebook. Good night, YouTube. Welcome back, guys, to the Real Talk Show. Um, we're really happy to have all of you here tonight. Um, Nick, I'm not sure if you have it up on your page, but after I do the giveaways pass, I'm unable to um actually get the the readout. So I don't know if you could read that out for me if that's possible. The the um, what they show about? Yeah. From Facebook itself. Um, but guys, welcome back to the Real Talk Show. We're really happy to have all of you here. We want to encourage everybody that's here right now to share the stream and also to comment, all right? Because if you comment, you could qualify to win one of our giveaways. We are giving away three Amazon vouchers tonight. So about every 20 minutes or so, there's going to be an announcement for our giveaway, all right? So you're going to be entertained and you're going to be winning really, really awesome prizes, all right? So all you have to do is comment. You can say goodnight. You can tell me where you went from. Maybe if you might have a, even a question to ask. Maybe you have your own opinion. Um, something you want, something you input, any input that you have as well, feel free to share with us. This is why we have this forum where you all can actually communicate with us, right? We really want to hear from all of you. So I encourage every single one of you viewing here tonight to, um, to share right now because we're now getting it started. And you know, it's always going to be an awesome show, all right? And of course, you could win prizes while watching the show, say so being entertained and winning prizes, all right? How it can't get happening, I can't get better than this, all right? So next, I will let you sure. take over now. All right, so I'm just gonna read the Facebook post to give you an idea of what tonight's topic is about. And as Kai said, we have a special guest um, with us, Roseanne St. Bernard, and she's a health coach. She's more than a health coach, but she would tell you all exactly what she is, right? And what she does. Um, so today, it's about health and the state of your health can affect the quality of your life. As Caribbean people, at times we put culture above healthy eating habits and we see the effects in our society as obesity has become one of the leading causes of disease in our country. We want you to look and feel your best and experience a better quality of life in 2022. Um, so yeah, so that is what we're going to be talking about today and also Roseanne is going to be touching on um you know building up your immune system at this time because we're living in a serious time with this pandemic and um the vaccine is not the only solution i just say that I hope the stream don't get cut i hope you don't get cut and boop, all of a sudden yeah there are ways that you can you can build your immune system and protect yourself so i'm excited tonight Okay, great stuff, Onika. You know, maybe Roseanne, before we start off, we will obviously tonight we talk about health and your life. That's where we name the topic, right? But maybe you could give us a little background on what you do and I guess we base your company name so at least people will get a little context of where we're coming from here tonight. So maybe you take it away and let us know. Okay, so in our a lot of us know we have a sense as to what are one or two things that we need to do differently to reach our health goals or to improve our health. So if we say that that's A, that's point A, point C is probably where we need to go. A lot of times in the middle there, we start and stop or there's inconsistency or we're not too sure what will work best for us or we try on our own and the doctor's reading us the right app. So RSB coaching and consulting would be a team of coaches and nutritionists, holistic nutritionists that, that would seek to help to move you from point A to accomplish your health goals. So some of the things you know, some of the things you don't know. So our goal would be to map out a personalized plan for you to give you the encouragement, the accountability, the coaching, help you overcome the hurdles in between to accomplish your health goals. So essentially, when my journey started on a cancer recovery journey, so our clients tend to be 
those persons who have a lot of gut issues like acid reflux, constipation, bloating, um, IBS, or there's the hormonal side, ladies with fibroids and cysts and menopause and bad menstrual cycles and all the rest of stuff to do with that gynecological system. And then cancer recovery, of course, weight loss, of course, of course, of course, and then lifestyle diseases, diabetes, etc. So it's about the simple things that we could do every day to bring phenomenal results. And I will share a couple with you today. Even if you apply one or two things, you will be surprised how it could transform your life. Okay, awesome stuff. So I don't see now to get a free consultant or whatever you do. I, to get some kind of consultation. I just saying, I don't know if I don't know if that's your word. I don't know if that's what you do. But yeah. I had to get a little consultation because Ooh. I asked to take something free like me. I'm going to do it here live. I'm going to do it here live for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and the website is rstbernardhealthcoach.com. rstbernardhealthcoach.com. All lowercase. So you could look us up and get in contact. Yeah, We'll put out the comments so everybody will be able to see it and they will um actually be able to visit the website, you know. So, Nika, maybe you could start off by telling us, did you make a resolution this year to be healthier this year? <laughs> not, no, not actually. I stopped making resolutions a while oh, now. Okay, okay, not, okay. Not, not that I don't mentally have things, not mentally, even, you know, in my spirit, I, I, there are things that I know I want to improve wow. and I don't at the start of the year is a good time to, to to start thinking about all those things um and we actually started in at a church i don't know if roseanne knows but we did it kind of a little well no you saw things on the champion group yeah. um a little weight loss challenge you know the pastor actually came up with the idea let's drop some pounds before we put it back on for christmas <laughs> right mm -hmm. and um that actually started, so I, I, once you see competition, I am motivated by the thought of winning something, or at least trying, right? So I said, okay, I'm going to do this thing, right? Um, and I did start, I cut out carbs, well, most most of it, I I drank more water than I have, I've ever drunk I think, in my life, because I'm not a big water drinker, which is bad, and I, I increased my vegetable intake a lot, right? And one of the things that I have been affected with almost as long as I, well, not as a child, but as a, an adult, a young adult, is uh, constipation. I'm not the most regular person, right? And so when I started do, making those small changes, drinking water and adding the vegetables to my diet and taking all the carbs, uh, one of the first things I would do when I get up in the morning was go to the, to the, the toilet. I was, I was shocked. I was like, I thought... I thought this was, I thought that could not happen again. I, I'll be wow. honest, because it just became, no, I just got accustomed to my way of, you know, right. and I would have to take mm -hmm. stuff ever so often. So when I started seeing just that simple change that I make, it was no big thing, you know, make such a big difference. I did make an, a, an effort, you know, going into 2022 to say, you know what, I'm going to, why stop, you know? So I, I'm not trying, I'm not doing, trying to lose weight, but I really am trying to make an effort to eat healthier, to drink more water. Um, yeah, I kind of slack off over the Christmas if I'll be on it, but I, I'm making an effort and I'm, I'm, I'm still regular. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to everybody <laughs> to share the stream on like the stream, you know, we're getting started. You know, so, uh, so from here in her story, Rosanne, I would like to know where does somebody get started? Like what, you know, some people, I know there are people out here, like I don't see somebody, still they have astral blocks and they have some diabetic, you know, issues. So they would like to know, so some people want to know, like actually where to get started because a lot of people would like to get healthy. They would like to maybe lose some weight, but then, you know, life does happen. So sometimes people just want to put things in place, but they even know what to do. So maybe I'll ask you what, what is the first yeah. step people should do? Yeah. So, before I get to that, let me just say uh -huh. on the that you're probably adding on years to your life because the truth is if you eat multiple meals a day, you should have multiple bowel movements. Right. That is wow. holistically normal. If right. you have yeah. one or every other day, the doctor says, eh, dying immediately. But oh, you have to be with bowel like a, a pipe. And there's always food going to be pushed along, a peristalsis movement when you eat. So when that right. is not coming on, we're going. So it loading up your colon walls, it being seeped back into your bloodstream. So your skin, well, not yes. your skin, but person's skin 
My skin, my Or is she skin too? Are you good? Or the perspiration, or we tired, or we moody, or the period just. So that's why I've got. This making sense, Rosanne. Go ahead. So I would work with youths a a couple of years ago in American Chamber of Commerce, and I'd be like, you still really want to hear me? So it's like an audience of about 200 and they would bring me in and I'd be walking down the street and they would say, coach, coach, multiple times a day because the one thing they took away is to drink more water. And I right. tell myself in that moment, I'd probably save a life because yeah. if it is not coming out, it is being recirculated, putting pressure on your liver and from there, disease will spring forth. So right. when I clapped, I meant it. You're probably at a 15 years old. Easy, 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 okay, just okay, like that. Okay. <laughs> it's a chronic problem. It is a chronic problem, especially in this country. People come sometimes and say they go off once a month with a Chinese no. tea. With a Chinese tea. So they still need help for that. Yeah, it's serious. So Once I'm a not, month? Yeah, once or twice a month. That's a regular thing when they come to us. Do they vomit or something? Pardon me? They, do they vomit or something? Um, Kyle, um, there are two. No, I just wondered, I call with one. There are two set of distinct things that one will come from above, one will come below. So it's not the same kind. Um, But what they tell me is they say it ran in the family, so they're good, right? Because it ran in the family, okay? All right, then. So, to your question. Just to know that all diseases, all health conditions are connected by some simple basic points, meaning if you make those adjustments across the board, whether it's a brain tumor, whether it's acid reflux, diabetes, um, hormonal concerns, some basic principles across the board will reap phenomenal results. I used to, in, initially, the high achiever in me, because I was a banker before, um, I used to cower away from people who issue something surgical. And then by the way, because one of my other coaches or therapists recommend them, I would work with them and apply simple changes and the pain is gone and the quality of life is improved. So number one thing when you're looking at making improvements, stay healthy, you have to set yourself up psychologically. Psychologically, because you have 30, 40, 20 something years of doing things the way you're doing it. I call that son, Onika Senior, Kyle Senior. So when you now come, to make these changes is Kyle Jr. and Onika Jr. And what you think would happen every day with the 30, 40 year old, 20 something year old is a fight. And so yeah. the staff of God and the, the old practices come back. And then our culture is not one that really promote very healthy practices from the food to sleep patterns, the stress level, phone, you're sleeping right here with the radiation. It does not. So you need to set, to set yourself up psychologically. So I encourage people to get to their big why. What is the reason? At the end of the day, they want to transform their health. And it's important that they reflect on that and run a movie connecting with their big why every day to have a strong emotional connection. You have to start psychologically because by March, April, down south. And then what we do is we want to work with persons to make transformational changes. So I would have lost about just about 60 pounds. And now I'm fighting not to lose any more weight. Because there's nothing to change. I'm not dieting. I'm eating healthy. I'm trying to stay off the stress. I'm trying to get to bed on time. And it, it keeps going. So I'm now fighting not to lose more weight because people are like, Rosa, I'm going on with you. You know? So I've never had that fight. I've never had that fight. I, I laugh at myself as after one day is the next year. But that's what my clients <laughs> experience because you are changing your lifestyle. So it's right, nothing right. to come on and off up. Good. So I tell people, set yourself up psychologically. Get to your big why and connect with it. Point two. Do the best you can every day. Make small decisions. Do the best you can. And when you come up and do nonsense, don't beat up yourself. Because beating up yourself could lead yourself to a big top of having that. Shake it off and come back on quick, quick, quick. The other thing is eat till you're satisfied, not full. A lot of Caribbean people don't know the difference unless we school them in. We don't yes. feel as if we. So set yourself up psychologically. That's the first thing we go through with clients because the battle is here and here. When you win it here. Your whole body could be famished and wanting a particular thing, but inside of you, your big wife says, no, back away from the ice cream. Yes. So, that's that's right? senior so Unica, that's yes. Number one. <laughs> then we go to the things that don't go in your mouth. A lot of people seem to think that the food is the end all and is weight loss and is X and Y. Excuse. 
the things that don't go in your mouth has the have the ability to affect your health way more than the things that go in your mouth. So wow. let's look at your em- way more. So let's look at your emotions. Now I will speak a little bit more about my testimony, but I was going through the cancer recovery journey at 20, about 15, 16 years ago. And the, my 28? At age 28, I was surprisingly diagnosed with um cancer. Wow. What are you, could you say of what or I don't know? Colorectal. Colorectal, okay. Yeah, and good. I have no bowel issues, no acid reflux, not not nothing, nothing. I don't have that in my family, nothing, nothing. I just got right. a real hot sun dream on the 27th of December at 3 p.m. 2005, and it shook me. And in the dream, I saw uh at the time I didn't know it was a colonoscopy, and the doctor said there's an issue here, but go- what God will take care of it. And it haunted me. I had just took over marketing in the Eastern Caribbean and RBC. So my life was, oh, finally, I am God good and making me money in my time now. And I got this dream. So I started looking, looking, though, ask me what I'm looking for. And then eventually I spoke to any bathroom that is on your face, the puzzle. <laughs> I started to look at <laughs> them Because I ain't got nobody, I don't have no, you know, very, yeah, not no once, no nothing, very multiple. And, um, I eventually asked around, what is this test I saw in the dream? And I went and I did it. And the doctor thought I was one of those people who just figure everything is cancer. And I explained to her, no, my family, the, the, the screws need to tighten a little bit. But other than that, they do have. But do this test. I was compelled to do the test. And she choked to come back and tell me I was stage three out of four colorectal cancer. I'm talking to you now, I was 16 years, and I still do believe it happened to me. So I was like, no, 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 no. You're supposed to say this. This is the next thing you say. Yes, I just said, no, no, no. Well, it will be taken care of because she didn't think it was that bad. So a few months from then or um, a year from then would have spread throughout my body easy. And I wouldn't have known. I might just get a bellyache or cough or something because I think after colon is liver and then brain or something. And then you go on stage four. That's it. Peace out. Right. Um, so I always thought that because of the dramatic dream, God will lead me supernaturally. <sighs> Lord Father. And it was a journey and still is a journey because I attempted to do the traditional treatment, even though I was looking for God to heal me supernaturally. And if I perish, let me perish. I'm a pastor the time say, if you was my wife, I would have tell you, go and do the surgery. So yeah. I attempted to do that and I attempted to do the treatments and the treatments then almost destroyed my immune system. Right. So my body wasn't producing white cells. And I said, okay, God, if it made me brilliant enough to make millions for the bank, and you showed me this thing, and you changed my job, I doubled my salary, and set me up good, then surely, because I'm very logical, you could show my way out of this. So they hold the treatment, this, that, and doctor said, hands off for you, Roseanne. Okay, so my body now wrecked. Cancer and studying is my immune system, a cold could take my out. When, right. my, when my knees come in one way, sneezing, I out the door in my pajama, because I don't know if it's a cold, and I don't have an immune system. So that began the journey, and this is where we come to the healthy points, because it will affect all of the areas and in building your immune system. What do I do, Lord, to build my immune system? The first piece of research I was led to is that you need to enjoy and flood your body with positive emotions, because negative emotions would actually weaken your immune system. Yeah. So I start to forgive, like, when release this, <laughs> who I need to get vacation, I get vacation, and I just... <laughs> I loaded up on worship music. I'm an outdoor person. So I was always on the hill or the beach. Just anything in this awful situation to infuse my body with positivity. And of course, God gave me about a week to say I have cancer because somebody dropped a book about declaring. So I started to say the doctor say, right? And so I realized at that point, the thing that will bolster your body, not only cancer, but weight loss, um, hormones, all of your, the thing that will fuel your body is positive emotions, joy, forgiveness, peace. I, I have this here to show my clients. I said, picture this as a medicine, a bottle of medicine. Joy is your first bottle. Laughter is your first medicine. Don't be hurry, hurry to go and eat kale, but you have hate in your heart. Or oh, bitter, or you're, oh, what you're doing is just expensive poop and expensive urine. <laughs> You have to first start to heal the systems of your body with emotions. That's why yeah. the Bible says laughter is medicine to the bones. Yeah. And all the things show a merry heart, do it well. So yeah. all of you all out there, if you want to boost your immune system, if you want to start burning that fat, anytime you see my face, so it's because I stress. 
oh gosh, don't look at my cirrhosis. Are they stressed? <laughs> 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 that would swell me up fast because what it does is affect all the organs of your body. So, right. Wow. So I, I feel stressed out then. When you go to Rosan. In traveling all over the world to get help, Chinese therapy, Asian therapy over the years, they actually had laughter classes. So people who were in pain, people who were in pain, when the morphine and things stopped working, they would go and sit down and get a comedy show so they laugh a few, every few seconds. and Or they would watch comedies every few seconds they laugh. And literally the endorphins will cause your body to um, reduce pain. So when painkillers don't work with my clients, I tell them, load up on comedies. Literally, that is your first medicine. If you want to survive, not get corona. If you want to burn fat, if you want to get rid of the menstrual issues, if you want your pressure to go down, laugh, love, fill up on joy, speak the word over your life. That Amen. is your first medicine. The other area that is going to make up 60% of your health journey and all the hell goes you're looking to accomplish is sleep. Six to eight hours, no right. later than 10 p.m. Long between, light is mine. Between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. around there, your body super heals. So one hour between that time is better than four hours after. Men, you, you ever sleep, stay up whole night? Well, I know champion people, my God. Carol does sleep, stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. You ever stay yeah. up whole night and then you sleep 10 hours and you get feeling, oh God, groggy? Yeah. 10 this, hours. The, the sleep is not as beneficial. Your systems heal between 10 right. p.m. and 2 a.m. If you yeah. want, oh, to heal gut, if you want yeah. to heal, if you want to heal your gut, you want to get proper weight, you got to make sure you have healing sleep. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. I tell clients if those are the only two things they take away from me, it probably save your life and the life of your family. Joy and sleep. Any questions you all have so far? I see everybody in age. <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. That's amazing. I mean, and I, you know, Roseanne, you were saying that, and um, even in counseling, I mean, you counsel people dealing with their health and so on. I might counsel somebody, you know, with spiritual issues. Yeah. And many times, a lot of the issues people go through that involve stress and stuff. It does come from unforgiveness, for, from them living a life of bitterness, yeah. um, depression, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. And even though you try to tell them that you need to let go of these things, you need to free yourself, you need to forgive, you need to allow God to heal you. And but what they want is some supernatural deliverance. Just like people yeah. come to you wanting some supernatural, yeah. give me a pill, let me get better, you know. Yeah. People, yeah. Yeah. So that's, yes. that's, that's, that's the science cool. actually shows which emotion. So there's nobody that comes to me with gut issues that I have not connected with and realized they have a little worry internal dialogue that's a bit heavy because that de goes direct and affect. Um, I remember once I did this foot bath thing, this foot detox and the water was green. The doctor said, who you met with? I just taken over managing marketing for the Trinidad. And so I, I thought that by not, because I'm very uh, good now, but I was real, you didn't want to see me in the early years in terms of being vocal. Um, and so I thought that if I just kept it in my manager now. No vocal in there? Yeah, yeah this, I'm an angel now. I'm a oh, no. angel. I'm telling you I'm an angel. And I want to apologize to all my other bosses, actually. Uh, yeah. Um, because I believe in speaking up and standing for yourself. And I believe if you're a hard worker, stand your ground. So I um I did this foot bath and he asked me, he said, Oh, you're with? And then I asked my colleague, I said, What's going on? They said, Rose, and you're no longer speaking out, but inside of you. So what did it do? Affect the liver. And so the water was green. And it green represented uh, the gall, gallbladder and so forth. Yeah. Okay. So the other areas where we're talking, achieving your health goals, we go to exercise, moderate exercise a few times a week, half an hour, three times. Some people think you absolutely need to be at it to lose weight. Not really. A lot of my clients, most of my clients who eight to 10 pounds a month, and they're waiting for knee replacement or hip replacement or the old or his back surgery. And it is important to exercise, yes, moderately, three times a week at least. But it is not the thing for weight loss. I was on lockdown. It's my trampoline. You know, I was locked. You know, it's not a critical thing for weight loss. So you don't have right. to give exercise. No, 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 no. Start with your mind. Start with your heart issues. Start with your sleep and you see how that fat will melt. You see how health will spring forth. So that's exercise. I like that, the fat will melt. The other, <laughs> you should have anytime I miss, I miss, um, I miss, um, Ruzan, the part where you say explain about gutter. The wasser took my internet for some time, 
So I wanted to hear what you had to say about gut uh, health. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk about that after this point. I no problem. You make yes, his last yes. point and then we go into the comments and we'll come back to... No yeah? problem. Um, yeah. Just to say, Kyla, by the things we talked about before with sleep and emotions, that sets mm -hmm. up your gut for good health. Nice. Nice. So that is your major medicine. Now, when it comes to food, it is important to eat for your health condition. One size does not fit all. Some people, if they eat broccoli, it can't be anywhere near them or cabbage for, for reasons or red beans. For reasons that I'm sure you're aware of, it can't be anywhere you're near. Sure, there. right? Is it nutritional? Yeah. Yes, but your body isn't able to break it down effectively. Okay. So it is important to get counsel, and that's where we 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 get behind what's going on with sorry with a client and map out an actual plan for their health situation to really transform them because they are basic principles which I will share. But you need to eat for your condition. So you see, gut issues. Beyond constipation, anytime you're dealing with reflux or IBS or ulcers or, or pains in the stomach or excess bloating, etc., there is a particular diet that you follow. And in that diet, you may not be allowed things that are typically good for you. Anybody with acid reflux have to say bye-bye to peas until their system heal up. They have to say bye-bye to um, acidic fruits and citrus fruits, for example. Or if they have IBS, cashews and watermelon. So even some healthy things they have to say goodbye to. Diabetes, you could have low sugar fruits. You can't eat you know, with healthy, so eating a set of fruits. Your plate have to look a particular way. How much veggies, how much, how much. Um, blood pressure, same thing. Um, like other life studies, this is cancer recovery, same thing. So you need to eat for your particular condition. But overall, you want to make sure you load up on veggies that agree with you. You want to make sure and have about four servings of veggies. Some of you all know you only garnish with it, but four servings. Whether you make it in a smoothie, you juice it, or you have four servings. When you're talking about health spring and fall, when you're talking about melting fat, feeling good, energized, sleeping good, reducing anxiety. Then you want to make sure you have about two or three servings of fruit. A serving is not 10 starch mango. A serving is a mango. Right? And you can eat sweet fruit, sweet fruit, sweet fruit whole because still it's sugar. So two or three servings of fruit, you want to make sure you load up on whole stuff, stuff that hasn't been processed. So whole grain, brown rice, sweet potato, provisions, quinoa, um, gluten-free stuff. Um, you want to make sure you... I, was, I advocate a plant-based diet for a lot of reasons. So you want to eat clean meats, not the set of meats with steroids and hormones and so forth. And you want to try to have meatless days. And ladies with the hormone issues or even blood pressure... You, you, that is not your friend. Woman issues, animal food is not your friend. The, the people that go back and see the fibroids disappear, PCOS under control, the, the monthly is regular, when dealing with uterine gynecological conditions, they pull away from meat or they eat it organic. That is no pesticide, no steroid, and like two or three times a week. Then you have nuts and seeds, about a handful, but peanut is not your friend. And before you go to take the comments, here are the most offensive foods. And I know I'm going to hit you, you're going to hold your belly, and then we go into comments. Number right, one, I'm comment. go ahead. No, number one, dairy. Anything from um, cow or goat milk, all your vegetarian cheese, your yogurt, um, your low fat milk, yeah, it's inflammatory in your body. It's setting up your body to feed cancer and disrupt the systems of your body. So you got to do coconut milk, almond milk, rice milk, and the main. Then anything with wheat, so you. So yogurt not good for you? I don't normally they say yogurt for the probiotic. Yo, yes, it's good, but especially when you're dealing with particular health conditions, we want right. to eat dairy, even mm -hmm. though it's good. We yeah. want okay, to eat dairy, so we could yeah. still give you yogurt, but not made with um animal milk. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. As mm -hmm. opposed to plant based. Um, and and you know what I should step say to you all? I advocate for people unless they're dying, do the right thing most of the time. So I am a big. I don't like jail. So 20, 30 percent, I will do a little foolishness. Now, if you come and you're dying or you're bleeding out, it's different. We have to lock you down for a while. But generally, if you do most good and two times three, we can do a little nonsense. We can live with that. Right. right? You don't have to be perfect. Perfection is not required. That's my right. number one motto. Um, so you want to nice. put you want to pull dairy, you want to pull things with wheat. You see wheat, whether it's the crackers, the multigrain, bread, all your special thing with oats, etc. Anything to do with flour, most people can't break down the flour properly. So flour actually is very inflammatory for your body from wheat. Now, there are other types of flour, cassava, flour, almond flour that we'll talk about. But this bread, bread thing in the morning, lunchtime, is setting up your body to visit the bathroom twice a week. 
Right. So that's dairy, that's wheat, and then we're doing the excess sugars. Let me say this for people especially who want to build their immune system. Anything beyond a teaspoon of sugar will suppress your immune system by half for hours. That's the second thing I had to learn to be able to bolster my immune system. Natural sugars in moderation, fine. But when you're doing juice that sweet, tea that sweet, it means that your immune system is constantly suppressed. So add that to poor sleep and add that to being stressed. Right. You understand yeah. why one in three or one in five, these statistics say is going to get cancer and or lifestyle disease. So then we go to peanuts is a no-no. Soy is a no-no. Um, and junk food, they said that junk food all the time and excessive sweets are no, no, those are the greatest offenders or red meat, four legged animals that stays in your body three, four times, three, four days, um, in your body before it comes out. And I tell people, if you leave a piece of meat outside, cook to uncook for four days, what happening? It don't have no freezer in your tummy. The same thing happening. And that's why when you come out the bathroom, nobody can go in behind you. You're <laughs> shaking. Because it's four days. Anytime you could come out of your chest high, it's because you know you're inside. Yesterday, food coming out today. So, to recap, load up on veggies, moderate fruit, your, your, your whole, your peas and so forth. If you don't have a gut issue, what peas is right. not your food with a gut issue. Um, right. Nuts, but not peanuts. Um, veggies, moderate animal food, your chicken, fish, eggs. Remember, the four legged animal will have your shame when you leave that toilet. Right? right, and then the things to look out for the dairy, the sugar, the things made with wheat, junk food, and all the processed sausages and things have the children going a little crazy. That and together with the peanut butter, they didn't bite. Listen, I never you come down with a diagnosis of bipolar all in his teenage years. Between the go over with my mother, deal with him with and changing his diet, he went up healed. He real good now. So bipolar went on, not demonizing a condition. But I'm just saying that certain reactions in your children or even your life with your husband. I've had people come on to divorce the husband. They poop in twice a month. At the end of a month, I said, let's talk about the husband's situation. Oh, I not on that again. So they start to poop and their emotions change because their liver wow. control emotions wasn't under pressure. So it transformed these wives who are going to go to menopause. When you make certain adjustments to balance your hormones, your husband in I mean, I'm not being biased, but your husband in line or something, we really change during that period. So okay. if you could adjust, you know? So those are some basic principles, and it works across the board. Close yours. Wow. Nice. Well, Eva, you take it away. We go into the comment section, and I see people are like asking, was it best not to have one? So the yes. questions, Eva, you give it to her, and you go ahead. Yeah. Um, so, Rosanne, we have a few questions I've seen here so far on the stream. I'm not sure if you'd want me to call them out and you answer immediately if you want to take a note of it because I'm not yeah, sure if it will answer immediately. It's fine. Okay, cool. And anything else that you think might be answered later on in the show while you give in your, um, your information, then you can just let me know as well. Sure. All right, so let me start by saying good night to a few of you. Um, Justina, Marcia, Deborah, good night to you, Eniala. I'm seeing Junior Curtis Robert, uh, Zane, and I'm seeing Junior Robert. I'm assuming that's two different people. Um, Chanel Archibald, good night to you. Nigel, go in the rain. Guys, um, I think I would say it's here with a Bollywood vibe. It's not intentional as my hair is blowing, okay? This is, this wasn't planned, okay? Because um, I saw Bozo also comment on it. Good night to everyone viewing. Let me see. Um... All right, so let me get into some comments here. Um, Justina says, set yourself up psychologically. Um, who is say Some people are satisfied when they fall. Camila says, I feel like KFC until something happened. Um, Gina Romani, this sounds like a spiritual walk. Junior Roberts, there's a lot of people who diet and believe in, and believe in it. Is it good for you? So, um, Rosen, I guess this is one of your first questions. Uh, let me just repeat it. There's a lot of people who diet and believe in it. Is it good for you? So, you um, let me know if you want to answer yeah, that. I can answer. Um, so, I know people use the word diet differently. And that's why when I give clients, hi, Gina. That's why when I give clients um, the, the food, I, I say food plan because it does something to me. You see, anything to have me in 100%. You know, I, I start to trip out when they put men too much bondage. So diet for me, you know. So I don't know if what they mean is 
restrictive eating. Mm-hmm. Um, I always advocate for balance. If you intensify for a particular time, like some people do keto and they primarily do protein and um, where you lean more to protein and low carb, that kind of thing, I would say a period of time. But I advocate for balance for overall health. And let me tell you, my sister, she's a therapist. She works with us. She was a Caribbean bodybuilding champ. Um, and so they will get cut and they would lose a lot of weight. And you know, they bulk up and they, and they cu- get cut after with certain diets. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't healthy. In fact, her trainer blew. He was also a Caribbean international champ. He blew his two kidneys when he recently died. The beast. So there, there are many diets that could be a mean to an end. And I would say if it's not affecting you too negatively and you coping with it, because I could never do anything very restrictive, like two boiled egg and two slices of ham and thing. Oh my God, my head will start to spin. I would say for a season and a period of time, but I advocate balance. I advocate eating for your particular condition, doing it most of the time, not trying to be too perfect unless you're at death's door um, and doing stuff that you could do for the rest of your life. I I don't know. I, I guess it's, it, I'm biased because that's what worked for me and that's what has been working for my clients over like 12 years now. Right. So the, okay. person, right, so the person said, if, if I'm okay with dieting, I would say yeah. if it's generally healthy and... I wouldn't say long term. I would right. say short term and you know. Okay. okay. All right. So Junior Roberts, I hope that answers your question. Um saying good night to Camila, Justina says fruit of the spirit. Zane Moore says preach sis. Um good night to you, Kimberly Singh. I see enough people sharing here, yeah, guys. As I'm seeing that just reminding all of you to share. I mean, this is some really great advice i myself um i'm supposed to read any comments but i actually trying to take in everything that was on the saying because it's really good information so i want to remind you all i encourage you all to share the stream okay because i'm sure this could be, like really bless someone's life they help and so on all right um let me see Zane more says how safe is bottled water versus pipe born water what's the best water to drink all right um You see, there are so many changes that if there are top 10 things to consider in terms of improving your health, I'm very careful when I introduce what not to overburden a client. But for people who have chronic illnesses or hormonal issues, etc., um, and really critical, I, I do advocate drinking filtered tap water if your water not brown in the area. So, I mean, the most basic filter is like the pure jug, P-U-R, you'll see it selling in the groceries if your water not brown and scary um, and you store it in glass. The issue with pla- water in plastics, especially in our temperature, is that the, the BPA is short for long term, which is a chemical in the plastic. So it seeps into the water and over time it's like low grade toxicity. It might drop down now, but low grade toxicity over time. So I I do advocate for filtered water and store it in glass, um, especially when you're chronic, chronic in terms of whatever condition you're dealing with. And I recently discovered that Caribbean Springs, that brand, Caribbean Springs, I'm not a promoter of them or anything. I'm just sharing. I like that. I'm just I sharing. Just drink that water. I observed that Caribbean Springs on the back of their bottle has BPA free. I cannot say if it's the truth or if it's not the truth. Right. I don't know how regulated we are in Trinidad. Is the same price as the other, so I don't know. But so I tell clients if they must have to, Caribbean Springs is the only one that says they are, that I have seen that says BPA free. Maybe there are others. Okay. Okay. And you want to drink any note of water. I didn't bring that up, but you need to drink eight to ten glasses of water when the day come. Hydration, flushing, detoxification, um, etc. Proper function of your body. How you drink is important. You want to drink half an hour before meals and two hours after meals. The reason is to Whoa, keep it simple. Two hours after. Yeah. No, if you have to eat and drink just a little half glass or something. But my father used to drink a jug, a juice, and then a jug of water and. He, you know, like, you know, he feels well, good no, after. No, 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 no. Then in his later years, because he passed recently, he had to sleep it on. <laughs> you know, after all the years of abuse. And because you have enzymes in your tummy breaking on the food. And when there's too much liquid, it weakens the enzymes. So digestion and nutrition absorption is impaired. So half an hour before, two hours after. I mean, if you're thirsty, drink. 
But I'm just saying, don't make it a habit to just be gulping on stuff while food is in your tummy because you will be impairing your digestion. Okay. You ready for? All right. Um, Crystal Martin, good night to you. She says the seed path is so true. Um, Katyan Henry, good night to you. Um, Dan Moore says, yes, he knows you from the bank, Rosanne. Um, and Yala asked, what is IBS? But I saw Chanel commented and she said irritable bowel syndrome. Um, let me see. We have some persons sharing here. Thank you guys for sharing. Let me see what else we have here. Crystal Martin says, yes, the meatless days. Um, Chanel also says, say no to dairy. Agreed, Justina, no to dairy products. Um, let me see. Crystal Martin. Crystal says, wow, didn't know about the sugar. Coconut sugar is a good one. Um, so maybe, Roseanne, you could at some point in the show recommend um, some replacements. So I know you would have mentioned that there's um, certain items that we should try to stay away from. But sometimes we still need, like, okay, so for example, sugar. We still need something to sweeten. So yeah, with yeah. Recommend honey, Crystal recommended um, coconut sugar. So let me just say, because I'm a foodie, I don't really believe in denial. And the food has to taste real good. That's why it's hardly by food, because you'll get real vex. You know, it has to be seasoned and tasting real good. Um, So I am not against snacking, but healthy. And it can't be grazing whole day because you'll be messing up digestion. You know, like how cows graze? No. You eat, you eat your lunch, you snack, you wait till you're hungry next. Because all of that messing up digestion. I know some of us have a gas situation downstairs that nobody can be around you alone, long. Anytime you have your digestion, two things actually, and how I get here alone, I'm going to take a note. <laughs> two things actually contribute to the gas beyond the intolerance for dairy. And I could feel in the spirit, people, eyes going like that. I could feel in the spirit. Um, so food sensitivities is one thing that will promote a lot of gas and bloating. So the common things is the wheat, the dairy, um, peanuts, soy. And of course, you know, people with peas, right? That could cause a lot of gaseousness. But then if you are eating fruit, fruit must always be eaten on an empty stomach. Fruit digests between half an hour and 45 minutes. So if you add it on after a pillow, the sugar gets trapped in the meal and then uh, gaseousness or over long term um, issues with digestion. So you see all these bomb smoothies, all they're doing with kale and oats and almonds. Fruit should be used alone on an empty stomach, an empty stomach. When you're hungry and then you wait half an hour to 45 minutes otherwise you are messing up digestion you have little bombs going on in a whole rhythm section um <laughs> and it impairs absorption etc so that's the thing with fruit um sugar so i am fine with sweet i'm not taking away your sweet but you have to make wiser decisions so stevia not all stevia stevia is, is made from the leaf of a plant it's sweetened so i had a big cup of grapefruit juice, but I put the stevia in it. Um, now, stevia is from the leaf of a plant. It sweetens, and in some cases, you kind of have to get accustomed to the taste, but it could help bridge the gap. So sometimes I will put a little coconut sugar and plenty of stevia just to round off the tea. Now, don't go and run and buy stevia, because the, I'm, I'm, I had to go through value to get pure stevia over the weekend, one that didn't have additives like dextrose and sucralose. You see those O's? It's sugar. Yes. Yeah. So when you see them, oats is artificial sugar. So you want to use pure stevia. So that's one. Now, sugar on the whole, whether it's sugar cane, honey, white, brown, now you will have more healthy forms of sugar, like honey, that will give you nutritional value. But all sugar, right, in that form, is going to suppress your immune system beyond a teaspoon for hours by about half. However, if white sugar and brown sugar will do tannin damage, honey will still do tannin damage in terms of immune system and wrecking the systems of your body and hormonal issues and weakening your system and feeding cancers, all of them on the same scale. So if those will do 10, coconut sugar will do three and is encouraged for diabetics. So even people with hormonal concerns with insulin sensitivity. So normal sugar 10 including honey including sugar can be healthy and the unhealthy forms of sugar will do 10 and damage one out of 10 coconut sugar will do about three stevia will do zero unless you're getting all the oats added and the artificial stuff and agave nectar will do about six agave nectar is like a syrup in a made from like a cactus like plant so options for you stevia for me i will do more stevia and a little bit of coconut sugar so that way my immune system keeps strong and i'm not wrecking the systems of my body 
So those are options. They're not taking away your sweet, but choose wisely. They're not taking away your snack, but snack wisely, not the junk food kind of thing. Okay. Um, let me see. Justina says, I don't drink sugar about seven years now. Um, Kimberly says, yes, sugar is a killer. Justina, but she's asked, what is the best nut to have? Right. So if you're not sensitive or have an allergic reaction to nuts, you want to stay from peanuts. Peanuts tend to have a mole. You wouldn't drop down right away, but you know a lot of people have allergic reactions to peanuts is because there's a mole on it. Yeah. Um, that triggers its use in a system. So sometimes when you have the migraines and a lot of sinus and mucus, if we pull down the meat, pull the dairy, the weed, the peanuts, client, you'll be surprised how they're issues. They, they thought they had sinus concerns and the dust and the Sahara. You'll be surprised how these things, because when you, when you put the peanuts in, it causes a trigger response in your body and all those things add up. So you could have the cashews, the almonds, um, you have your seeds, your chia seeds, your flax seeds, your walnuts, etc. A handful, about 10 to 12, unless, of course, you may need to gain weight or maintain weight, then I would allow more than a handful. So you can't be eating okay. on a bag of pe people eat on a bag of peanuts, just peanut, 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 messing the systems up in the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, pistachio. Yeah, if you're stush. Uh, if you're right? stush, okay. Stush and rich. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have put the five pistachio? <laughs> it's, it's good. I just was wondering because I, I, um, I just have acid issues, and I know for a fact when I eat peanuts, I stop eating. I just actually feel acidic real quick one time. So let, let me actually talk, feel it. Let mm -hmm. me talk about the gut issues because it's like the number one thing that clients come in for disease. I think with Corona, because the stress impact was more negative emotions and worry goes directly and hammer at your gut. So I have mm -hmm. people who come to me. And at first, I found it was spooky, right? But my sister recommended them, and I couldn't say no to them. Because some clients I run from, eh? um, they tell me they feel like a twin pushing out the belly. I'm like, oh, Jesus, they need to come Tuesdays, right? So this was, I started to calculate more time. Um, but working with my sister, and because she has the one percenters, right? I'm like, Jesus, help me here today. And as I go along the years, I got braver. It was bad acid reflux. So some people come, they can't swallow, burning, bloated. Some have yeah. silent reflux. So a lot of bloating, excessive burping, but not necessarily burning. Like I said, you have to get a particular regime, food regime, which you follow for 60 days, giving your tummy and your gastrointestinal system time to seal up. And then we can reintroduce the typical healthy stuff that is more pressure for your body to digest. So you see oats? Is an absolute no no for acid reflux. Amen. Absolute no no for acid reflux. Peas is an absolute no no for acid reflux. In fact, across the board for gut issues. Now, IBS, somebody asks, irritable bowel syndrome is where you alter between diarrhea and stomach pains and constipation, excessive gas and bloating, right? Um, in general, across the board for gut issues, these are the five groups of food that you're safe with. And then I will have to open it back out as your, as your, system heals after 60 days i'll open back out the diet now it's not it, it shouldn't be as restrictive ibs have one way acid reflux have one way constipation have one different issues have different um food guides but generally because i'm just about to do a free challenge and i needed to address generally to help people Pro ground provisions would be a go-to start potato and provisions take a note Kaya. so number yeah, of one course. Would be provisions mm -hmm. um, number two would be vegetables nice number three would be sweet fruits and some people if you have ibs watermelon and mango will trip your system so i'll yeah. steal it from watermelon go ahead mm -hmm. so if, if you have uh between diet that di um diarrhea and constipation then that's ibs in that case watermelon and mango but for mm -hmm. acid reflux persons you'd want to avoid acidic fruits you want sweet fruits so IBS have one rule, acid reflux have one rule. So generally sweet fruits, unless you have IBS. Um, nuts and seeds, animal food, your chicken, fish, eggs, and I feel like I'll leave an odd one. Chicken, fish, eggs, that's animal food. Fruit, sweet fruits, vegetables, ground provision, and nuts and seeds. You see those five groups? Just generally listeners. Um, that will start jump, start your healing for your gut. I go through 60 days with people like that, and then I start to open back up the diet. In addition, you do your ginger tea, your turmeric tea, green popo. Green popo, when you cut it, it's sweet and it looks like carrot inside. That helps to go and heal the gastrointestinal system. But apart, people do well for two months from all of the dramas they explained to me that some little scary. And then 
um, the husband had it at a side piece situation and everything came back. Came back, right? Yeah. So yeah. even more important when a dealing with gut issues, even more important that the dietary change is to have this and this, this, your head and your heart matters calm and joyful because that will go and sabotage your success. True. Um, oh, good. Eva, yeah. Yeah, Camilla says constipation, dread, or it's the liver. Um, let me see. Sammy Dread, good night to you. Um, Crystal Martin says, Wow, Rose Tinbernard is on fire. Awesome info, Rosan from Kimberly. Um, Gina Romani. Hi, good night to you, Gina. Um, Andre Kila, good night to you. Kimberly Singh, what is your take on intermittent fasting? Is this something good for someone or this is based upon the person before deciding to do this? Okay, so intermittent fasting is where you have a period of eating and a period that you're not eating. Most of us do it already unless we have a little thing in the night where we stay up late and snacking. So most of us might eat between 7 and 8 or 8 to 8 p.m. So we eat between that window and then the other window. We don't eat. It's excellent to give your body a rest. If you think about it and you stick between like 8 to 8 or 7 to 7, it's like half of the year you're not eating. Isn't that awesome? Not half of the year you're fasting. That's a real easy way to say fast for half of the year. Drop in some prayers before you go and sleep. Um, so it's excellent because it gives all the systems of your body a chance to rest and recover. And can I tell you that digestion takes up most of the energy of your body? That's why when we do the, the Kalaloo, the, the, the African mix with the, you know, the Creole mix with the Indian mix with the Chinese, and then the Java mm -hmm. thing and the sweet bread for Sunday, we can't move. We're tired because all the energy goes straight into your gut area. So, so that's why I started feeling sleepy. That's correct. And right, I right. found that. Be no, I shouldn't say that. Um, um, I shouldn't say life on that because of the cold. That is a, a spiritual situation. But let's just mm -hmm. say your health hinges on the health of your colon. So you want to give that a rest, right? You want to not be at it, at it, at it all the time, grazing wholly. So yes, it's excellent. It's good for persons diabetic. It will help with insulin sensitivity. It will help you to look youthful because that period of not eating, um, there's a growth hormone. Human growth hormone will peak. And really have you looking youthful and your skin nice and so forth. It gives your body time to detoxify. It gives you time to heal when you're sleeping. You don't want to be brief. When you are rest, just imagine in the night, you're already going to bed 12 o'clock and you're stressed and you phone next day. And then you're, your belly full. What you're doing? Oh my. So on top of not sleeping, on top of not healing because you're up in your healing period, your belly full and your, your food fighting up to digest. And by the way, it is better to eat earlier in the day and lighter in the night because your body's ability to break down food lessens from 3 p.m. onward. So this big meal, late, phone, and stress, what are we doing? Right? right. So it is it's wonderful. I personally, from habit, I do from about 10 and something very light at 7 or 8. That too was single-handedly caused my way to just that not being tempted in the night and then whoop. Weight will fly off. You'll feel better, energized. Your sleep will be better. So it's it's excellent. I will say, don't be extreme. So there are people who eating once a day now, and they call it the OMAD. And then the, you know, I, from from how I say that's song in mad. I don't like yeah. nothing extreme. I mean, if it works for you for a while, fine. Basically, belly growling and be suffering, and you're feeling like you want to blow up. No, 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 no. I would say twelve hour, twelve hour, real good. I tend to do fourteen. What's the other thing? Six and four. Fourteen, ten. So fourteen, I would be. Not eating and 10, I would eat within that window, usually from about 10 o'clock to about 7 o'clock. So it's excellent, help you burn fat, balance your hormones, look youthful, cleanse. Excellent, just to be extreme. So when you okay. come, make sure and get us sleeping between 10 and 12, right? 10 and 2, I mean, in the morning. Uh, you, keep, keep that youthfulness, you know, thriving. You know? As long life is mine. I laugh plenty and I sleep plenty. Keep that That's senior. That's, you know, get That's that senior nice. when you come I, out of the I picture. Like <laughs> 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 Anyhow, you get over. No, but it's a serious thing, you know, because a lot of people not yes. sleep. And I sense it's that out serious. there. And let, me, and let me give some tips for sleeping one time, because you remember I talked about the medicine, right? So yeah. you really have to put sleep here and positive emotions. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing is, you need to, if you are too, ex I couldn't believe this, but if you're too exhausted, it's possible. I, I had a 
pastor back in the day in Elijah Center and he had an issue where he couldn't sleep. And I was like, but if you're tired, you must sleep. How could you be tired and not sleep? Uh-huh. What in me to him pass here, according to the old people? Your nervous system can be so drained that it cannot settle down, calm down to sleep. So I tell mm. people, have a time, especially when I was managing a team, I woke up chancellor and I'm thinking about everything. I, I don't even know how I reach up chancellor because I'm still trying to resolve work issues. Have a cutoff time where it's just about you, your shower, worship, music, laughter, family, positive things so you can calm down. Your nervous system needs to be calm. Um, you need to eat properly, proper nutrition. Now, bowel health is crucial with emotions, anxiety, and depression. Like when persons come to me, at first in the early days, I was like, hmm, there's a psychologist, there's a feel of a psychologist. I'm going to tell you something. There's something called serotonin that's produced in your gut. That is a mood stabilizer. It's a neurotransmitter that stabilizes your mood and gives you the joyful feeling and well-being. If your gut have issues, it impedes the production of serotonin, your attitude funky, your personality you're depressed and you're praying it away. But you ain't going and use the toilet. So the little serotonin that God made for you, right? So sleep is crucial for healing even your gut. So you need to make sure... I tell people, I start them with like sour sap tea. If they don't have low blood pressure, you know, the leaves, five sour mm -hmm. sap leaves, there are certain minerals and vitamins because we don't do meds that will encourage them to take to help their nervous system calm down to sleep because it's an epidemic, especially in Corona. Listen, the kind of things I look back now and I say, God, I didn't know to thank you for it. I didn't yeah. know the time to thank you for being able to sleep in five minutes. Sometimes you have to, I had to put on a rain song sometimes to just, you know, like shower of rain on the, on the phone. To yeah. I remember the days before you hit your bed, you're sleeping. I didn't even know to thank him, but it's an epidemic. Poor sleep, but this is an epidemic in the country. And because we're tired and wired, we want to sleep, but we're too beat up. Our nervous system is too beat up to fall asleep. Yeah, nice. so you need Let me get some sour sap, please. Yeah, you need uh, to tell that. So I can that string that around 9 o'clock. And not it's not wrong, no clock. Priceless, uh, Roseanne. Pardon me? I said, this is priceless information. Yeah. This is, yeah. you know, it really is. It, it is really, really, yeah. My Go ahead. Yeah. I've been in bed. I'm going to because hopefully they're just straightforward answers. Um, Kylie Bless asked, what are some good and balanced vegetables to eat daily? I think you kind of touched on that earlier. Yeah. Um, and Camilla Ramjan also asked, mineral or alkaline water well, you have some fancy people here alkaline but I, i'm not going to go off on alkaline if you're going to drink bottled water but people sell any bottled water and alkaline yeah so you're drinking the alkaline but um plastics mm -hmm. you know so if you can like, i have a filter that alkalizes and cleanses and all the fancy thing if you can't find but i'm more interested in purified water purified tap water is neither acid or alkaline it's neutral right um, you made a point earlier about veggies. Just eat veggies that agree with you. Um, a lot of people have issues with cauliflower, cabbage, and uh, the other one. Uh, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli. So, oh, and I should say this. If you could try to eating, eating the stuff that I recommend is one thing. But if you could try to clean up the sauce, that is excellent. Because I don't know if you all know, but you all could go on Google Dirty Dozen Vegetables. And you would see... The list of vegetables that has the most pesticide and insecticide and on that will be kale apple grapes white potato um all strawberries and berries it is most laid on with pesticide so when cancer people come and say red juicing coach i red juicing carrot is number 14 of most toxic um vegetables because it is sprayed now what do you do so i tell people if you could plant a little veggies and thing do so hydrophonically grown stuff you will see it in massy mark hydrophonic that means it is grown in water so they don't spray it they'll put a little fertilizer it might not some weird fertilizer and thing but at least it's not sprayed so that's the next level you could go to and then we have organic if you could afford it i go to the farmer's market in diamond Vale. i've made and drilled those farmers over the last two years so i kind of know who killed to buy who this who that i go to the extreme because i juice and i don't want to be juicing concoctions of pesticide yeah no juice if you want to be using concoctions of pesticide because you know when you juice the fiber goes out one side and the juice i'm saying blender juice 
Just yeah. imagine praying all that pesticide and you think you're inside, you're doing good. That's what the Bible says, a blessing early in the morning is a curse. You could be doing things good, good, good. And as I learned recently, and it's because you're doing it in the wrong way and it ends up, right. you know? Like my sister started to make a lot of cauliflower um, rice. Oh, good, I can't do that at all. Cauliflower rice and she's losing a lot of weight. Um, but then her stomach gaseousness and like her stomach mm -hmm. got busted, like it's too much cellulose in yeah. the cauliflower. So it's like it messed with her gut. Everything is cauliflower, pizza, cauliflower, rice, cauliflower, everything. It messed up her gut. Yeah. So just be careful and most of all, listen to your body. Not because I'm a coconut milk queen. Every Monday I crack in three coconut and my gas tank because I'm upstairs. Um, but not everybody could cope with coconut uh, milk. You know, so listen to your body and kind of pay attention to what drains you. Outside of eating like a normal Peruvian person, if you're eating normal and you're tired, perhaps that food is draining you. In mm -hmm. fact, I want to share something with you. It's called an energy test. You could go on YouTube and look it up. If you want to test medication or any food to see if it agrees with you, um, if you extend your arm and somebody presses down your arm, give it something. You would know the strength. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you put a phone in your next arm and the person press down the same arm and it gets weak, it's because that thing is not agreeing with your body. So a sweetie will totally drain your energy. Um, a phone should totally drain your energy. But when you put that vitamin or that medication or whatever in the opposite hand and this becomes strong, you know it because it's agreeing with you. Too many of us are going off and buying probiotics. And this and they watch me crazy in the drugstore. I do my little test and I say, I just testing something and they watch me. But by now they're custom because I'm a fed up by stuff and it doesn't agree with me. So now I will test to see if the peanut have me. You know, I do all, you know, it's called an energy test. That's a quick way to test to see if things that you are using is messing with your system, even though it's healthy. So you can test mm -hmm. fruit, vegetable. Just have it in one mm -hmm. hand and stretch out your hand and let somebody press down. And if your energy goes in the opposite hand by holding the thing, it is because you need help, Kyle. You need help. I'm trying to figure out it. No, one hand you hold it, just Google energy test. It will come up. You hold, okay. you have one hand extended and somebody pressing down, right? Right. And then the other no. hand, you hold the thing you want to test, the medication, the vitamin, the X. If you find that your hand totally go weak, it is because the thing is draining your energy. No, men, do not hold your wife. Hold your wife. <laughs> no. Oh, That's some men ready to hold their wife in one hand and then... <laughs> yes. So that's Chinese medicine. We learned that in Chinese medicine because everything is energy right. and how it operates. Because not everything good good for you. So you could test it. If you're eating something and draining you, that's a way to test it. Oh gosh. You ready for? All right. Um, Eva, losing you tonight, girl. Losing Eva, this. Oh, I'm trying to read comments. Before, I'm trying to pre be prepared for when you come back for me. Um, Sammy, Dredd, I think the environment and health is problems. We have to look into. Um, let me see. Angel has a comment. Angel, this is our uh, long comment, Angel. Um, I can't see the rest of the comments, unfortunately, but I'll read what I am seeing. Angel says, what Roseanne said about reaching our health goals starts in the mind, basically. is so true. I started my health journey by realizing that God gave me one body and there's only one of me one of me to look after my family. If I'm not good for myself, I won't be any good for my family. I started by drinking one gallon of water per day, then at least seven to eight hours of sleep. sleep. Then I started intermittent fasting, and then I introduced exercise. Sometimes starting one thing at a time and then building on. Um, Justina says half an hour before and two hours after meals. Thanks for this information, Roseanne. I think that's for drinking. Um, Kimberly saying I started the intermittent fasting as well since last year and it's actually working well for me and yeah you have to try and fit in the exercise when you can like 15 to 20 minutes as effective as possible um, Kimberly says keep your body alkaline especially for cancer Crystal Martin yeah for coconut sugar um, agave is so sweet um, Camila says cane sugar is sucrose this is the two pure cane sugar. Crystal Martin, so stew chicken, no more brown sugar. So stew then wonder how coconut sugar would do it. Crystal, you could probably um you can probably try that and let us know, all right? So the next show, let us know how your coconut sugar is stew it. Um let me see. Lol, so what peanuts good for then? Well basically Rosan um said try to stay off your peanuts, Crystal. 
just seen and thanks for the information about nuts because I'm addicted to nuts, so I need to stay away from peanuts. Yes. Um, let me see what else we have. Up to now I'm not to give away. Just you know, if one suffers from after reflux, ginger is good to use. I know we spoke about after reflux, but I'm not sure if you spoke on ginger. Yeah, so I uh, took down a couple notes. Um, I just want to stress again that unless you have a chronic issue, perfection is not required. Do the mm -hmm. best you can now and again. Listen, I get a headache when I read that I had to pull out peanut because I used to swim 100 laps in YMCA before my diagnosis and go and drink a big peanut punch from Bronx and feel real good. Um, so that was real hard for me to give up. So now I will put oats, a coconut milk, and a little, like two tablespoons of peanut butter and just do a little bit now and again, right? Because, I mean, unless you're alert, now and again. We're not in a jail here. You're doing stuff that you can maintain. Um, stew chicken, Crystal, I wouldn't sweat, sweat the small stuff. I wouldn't fight up with that. How much, how much sugar that going to be? Like a, a, a half a teaspoon? By the time I take some sauce, if I, was, I think it's just about two or three tablespoons of sugar we put. So I, I wouldn't fight up with that for stew chicken. Um, it's just majorly, right? Like the juice and so forth. Ginger, excellent for soothing the um, esophagus and the whole gastrointestinal system. And it kills. Um, it's a natural antibacterial. It's good to boost your immune system, etc. So it's very good. Ginger, um, I would normally recommend green popo. So you know, popo full and green. Inside will be sweet. Don't be scared. Inside will be sweet. That helps to go and heal the lining as well and some other things. I need yeah. to get some popo. Yeah, green purple, purple, green purple. Um, Justina says, if one suffers from after, oh no, does that you comment? I just read Esther Noel. So much great information. She also says, Thanks so much, Junior Roberts. How do you know if you have kidney issues? Yeah, um, what you led want to, to attest? What <laughs> led to my <laughs> life? <laughs> I, think, I think oftentimes I'm trying to figure out what led to my clients going and realizing, um. I think they, it, it's always some kind of um, pain at least, but let me not say always. The persons that um, usually discover that unless you are diabetic and they check your kidney function or you're doing your general kidney checks, um, normally it will be some pain, something, some kind of thing that lead them to go on. But if you're concerned about it, family issues, something in your gut, I would say they will check certain markers right, for kidney function and guide you accordingly and stage it accordingly. Now, when it comes to kidney, that that has to be the most difficult food guide and healing plan I had to pull um, in, pull through because the things that would absolutely normally be considered, I, you can't even drink more than a four cup of water if you're doing dialysis. It was so specific and I had to end up giving people things I normally wouldn't because the things are so few when they record into the stage um, so that was complex, but we have them on a good regime now. So I would say, um, if you if 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 you have that question, then ten to one, it's such a unique question. Go, go and let them check your markers, um, and you need to make the changes accordingly to make sure that things don't go south where that is concerned. All okay. right, we have Kevin Narain here. Kevin says, "What about caffeine?" Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I like that question. Caffeine and alcohol. Yeah. Those are the two things that. Rosanna. But only could you press one time. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Those are the two things. Sorry, those are the two things that I, I forgot from the list of forbidden. Forbidden is normally the first things I call caffeine and alcohol, right? So it's acid forming, wow. disruptive to the systems of your body, trips your hormones, etc. So I mm. would say I would say if you're in generally good health, no more than one cup a day. If you're generally yeah. good health. But if you have a hormonal concern or any major issue, then you want to start weaning off of it. Barley cup, there's some. If you if you like the taste and it's, if it's for, I ask clients, is this for energy or is it for taste? If they say energy, I say your problem will be solved as we go along the program and they start to make the changes. Energy wouldn't be a problem again. If it's for taste, I tell them about barley cup, something called barley cup. They sell it, have a nice kind of a something like, you know gourmet tish, tish, tish kind of familiar thing to, to um, think but no more than a cup a day if you're generally in good health but it is one of those things that is very disruptive for your body unless you're using it from time to time to do enemas i should not have gone there i don't see kyle <laughs> 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 i should have gone there i should have gone there you have to do with enemas oh gosh i went so fast um, okay okay no, don't, 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 don't. no let me hear i want to hear where well, yeah, go ahead you talk let me help Ponika here today. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And when you use fat, which is in the lower area, 
it tends to draw impurities out of the colon when you use oh, enema formula. Good for that. Okay. Thank you. No, no, please don't go, go and venture doing that, people. No, no, please. No, don't go and venture doing that. <laughs> All right. Um, Hollis Charles, saying good night to Hollis Charles. Um, he's watching from St. Vincent. Let me see what else we have here. Chanel Archwell asks how to become your client. Well, I put the okay. website down there, but yeah. Yeah. So for people who, so what we essentially do is we, like I, I said at the start, our role would be to help shift you from where you are now to where you need to be held. Why some of the things you know, I know it too, but I mm -hmm. still need somebody to coach and say, Rose, and come on, what are you doing? Get it together. Remember, you talk about stress. So what we do is we map out for you, based on your condition, all of the different elements to deal with the stress management, to deal with proper sleep, exercise, um, supplementation, dietary guide. It is more than just what you put on your plate. The things that don't go on your plate affects my clients more. So we map those things out, and primarily we deal with hormone balancing, all the fibroid cysts, PCOS, weight loss, um, cleansing your body, lifestyle diseases, cancer, diabetes, etc. All to help you implement well. Traditional medicine don't give much advice on healing, so I used to have to travel the world to get advice to rebuild my immune system, recover from cancer naturally, etc. Um, so what we do is we bring the things that people are using to bring back their body. Simple things, there are no big scientific things. Well, I shared a lot of it with you all today, so you know what head we're working with. Simple changes, and then we work with you, encourage you, keep you accountable, um, keep you sticking to your plan, etc. as we go along. Um, for people interested in our programs, the first consultation is always free, just a few coaches. So I like to meet with people up front so you get a better understanding of your journey ahead. And by the time you start, boom, we head in for the stars. Um, so you can go on the website, our St. Bernard Health Coach, our St. Bernard Health Coach, or you can call or message 310-2930. That's 310-2930. 310 310-2930. Um, and we can set up a first consultation is always free and you're comfortable with the journey ahead and we take it from there. So, awesome. yeah. Okay, great. Um, so Noel says I really need to change my diet. Um, let me see. If we Eva, you will go through the comments. We will let her do it. And then at the end, you could do all the giveaways, Eva. Yeah. I already yeah. made a point with that. <laughs> yeah. Because we like, we're in an hour and like 10, 10 minutes already in the show. So you can... Yeah. When the Ryan says, talk about willpower, can people be addicted to sugars or certain foods? Okay, that's a good, yeah, that's a good thing. Also ask, what about constantly picking your not? That's a stupid question to study, Chris. Can I a proper diet, but at the end, so I thought it was a, a genuine <laughs> question. I was I apologize. No problem. You take so, the question. Anyhow, so addictions and cravings. So let, let me say this for people who join later. Say that again, sorry. No, me? Rosa, you talking to? <laughs> yes, yeah. that yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was saying, let me say this for people who had joined later, late in the thing. The journey for any change lifestyle-wise and nutrition-wise starts with setting up yourself psychologically. It is imperative that you have a conversation with yourself about your health goals and why it is important to you. And keep asking, why is it important? Why? When you get to that big why, it is important. I tell people I'm a curry mouth. There's a difference between me saying I like curry and me thinking about when Auntie Zaina put the boss up shot with the duck and the shatine on the leaf and going through. One causes my mouth to water. One is like, I like curry. You need to do that with your health goals when the day come. You need to run a movie. Who you with? Five years from now. How you looking? What are you doing? What did the doctor say? You need to make an emotional connection because the psychologists say when you do that, you transform things on a deep level psychologically. So that when willpower fails, when discipline fails, when everybody in your case, oh, they had a death sometime. I find people is be brutal. So now when people ask me about Rosanne, you're not, I feel like I'm not feeling fit. I'm not going through no long story for you to tell me I had to dead sometime. I'm tired of all of that. Uh, mm -hmm. And even when I was here, they, they still were merciless, even when they saw I was do, trying to do chemotherapy. And, you know, they, and they still was merciless. Oh, God, a little thing won't kill you. You know how we are. Mm -hmm. um, so you absolutely need to connect with your big one. I tell people this is the most important thing I'll share with you because when everything else fails, that deep thing inside of you will say, hey, back away. 
back away from the plate. You need to go in your bed. You need to break that relationship. Block that person. But do not answer. They are toxic for you. Right? Um, so in terms of addictions and stay in the course, get to your big why. You need to also prepare, prepare, prepare. I, I, like I cook fried rice this evening, I cook for today and three bowls for the freezer. That's how I cook today and three bowls. So I always have fried rice, kalaloo, soup. Even if I'm not in the mood, I could just pull that because when you're not prepared, crits are so inviting. Mm. A bread with something so inviting or yeah. the wrong things. It's so, you have to prepare. All of these things are, right? Good. Then we go to um, imbalances in the body. It is said that I, oh gosh, that's okay. We've got Kyle, her click, go south fast. No, um, go ahead, Jim. There are certain, <laughs> I don't go south fast, but there are certain cravings that tell a story. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's a symptom of something else going on in your body. So, wow. sugar cravings is usually a lot of times overgrowth of yeast in your body will call for bread or sugar cravings because the yeast in your body, the overgrowth, it feeds on that. So sometimes it will cool, not all the time, but sometimes an overgrowth of yeast, and men and women can have an overgrowth of yeast, will call for the um, bread and will call for the sugar. Um, I remember when I was trying to do chemo, I only wanted chocolate, chocolate, and I was not that kind of person. After researching and doing these studies, magnesium deficiency and chromium deficiency had me craving for the chocolate, whatever was in the chocolate, the magnesium and in, in the chocolate. So... Um, the certain mineral deficiencies will co cra cause cravings, certain um, yeast and infections in the body will cause cravings. Then there are hormonal changes of women that will cause cravings. And then there's the other section where we use food as love. Mm. Mm -hmm. We use food as wow. comfort. Oh, no, I delivered. No, I delivered. We use food as love. We use food mm -hmm. as comfort. We use food as joy. Right? Um, let food be food and love be love. Amen. So when it comes, you have to ask yourself, what do I really need here? It may be a conversation. It may need to work it out. It may be that you need to get a good night rest. You're overdoing right. it. You're overstressed. You're tripping. Let food be food. Let love be love. Now, I will say this. Clients have started me with seven Coca-Colas they have in a day. Six, seven cups of caffeine. Um... Seven Coca Cola a day. Seven water, water, water. The first thing I try to do is give you a substitute. I don't just want to rip off the bandage. So I'll give you something mm. that could kind of scratch the itch. Um, and then as you load up on nutrition, as your nutritional um, um, needs are fulfilled, and as the East get under control, and the X get under control, and the bowel movement, and you're sleeping, and you're Managing your emotions and you're managing your stress, you find it when I ask them, how the Coca-Cola get getting all line have one? Right. Ooh, I can't tell you when last or oh, good a shot. So the, the issue with addictions and cravings, it must be tackled holistically. And so we, we I ask all the necessary questions to see what really is behind the yeast infection, chemical imbalance, you're not sleeping well, you're not you're stressed, you're lacking love, you need conversation, interpersonal relationship. What is it? And then you feed that. And health spring forth and they get better control of it. So it's a long answer, but it's a serious, serious area. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Deborah Taylor says, yes, the sour stuff leaves is very good. Katie, outline water makes no sense. Sorry. Um, Kimberly says, we need to be careful where we buy. After Noel says, what about corn? All right. So... Um, some people have a, a, a intolerance to corn, a sensitivity to corn. Um, outside of that, I mean, I don't want to scare you all too much. There are five groups of food that is genetically modified. I'm a little dramatic, so I call it gremlin food. They run all over your body and look for mischief, right? That's how I, and by the way, on the note, just run all over your body and look for yeah. mischief. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and by the way, on that note, microwaving food does the same thing. Okay. It changes your food. I call it little gremlins. Um, so when it goes into your body, it releases free radicals. Free radicals are toxic cells of your body. And when you microwave um, meats, it changes it into cancer-forming agents. So toast oven, hot plate, you know, hot, you know, you're saving your life. Now, um, oh, shucks, I went. Of course, Eva, what was the comment? Mm -hmm. 
corn. What about corn? Right. So the the top right. So corn generally is okay unless you have a sensitivity. But understand that there are five groups of genetically modified foods. So I call them gremlin foods. The insects are dying off in the area. People getting cancers. Um, when they feed the rats the grains, they are forming tumors. Right. I know this might shock you all. I beg your forgiveness. Wheat is one. Wheat is number one. Corn is number two. Beetroot is number three. Peanuts is number four. White potatoes is number five. So the top most common genetically modified foods that are making their, cells to our, making their way to our plates and every day would be wheat, corn, peanuts, white potato, and beetroot. Is anything wrong with beetroot? Not necessarily. Is anything wrong with corn? Not necessarily. But unless it's mac organic and non-GMO, understand you have to use it you can't be every day every day every day because you understand that like berries strawberries and apples unless you buy it organic it is heavily laden so you do the best you can but with the knowledge you kind of mix and match and you don't overdo on your plate and of course you're blessed 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 before bless 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 <laughs> you know all right um so i'm fine with corn but just know those points okay um, Kevin says, Do you do a Bible based EFT? I don't know what EFT is. What's what EFT? EFT? Intermittent, inter intermittent fasting, I think, is what, yeah. Yeah, so intermittent fasting. What, what is the question? Do you do a Bible based EFT? Oh, oh it, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if you mean Expand on your question, please. I don't know if it means you, you, you drop some prayer in as much as you're fasting for the 12 hours. Yeah. So you capitalize on it. He will, he will okay. on that. Um, he says, says like, I'm um, testing you were doing emotional. Somebody carries for emotional focus therapy. Oh, oh so I, emotional focus therapy. Oh, well. That's something like if this like a psychologist training kind of something. What we will just do is basics and understand it. Hey, how this affecting you? Come, what you need to do differently. This needs okay. to be around, you need to cut it off, but we don't do anything too scientific. I don't know if that's the realm of the psychologist kind of thing. But you know it's basic things. Sometimes it's just to stop talking to somebody, you know. Not not out of bitterness, but they're not good for your space. You know, so sometimes it's the basic basics that I had a lady who totally stressed every morning. What's going on? Her husband drops the towel on the ground every morning. Okay, is he a good husband? Yes. Acid reflux thing, stress every morning. Hormones out of work. Is okay. So he consider it, otherwise, yes. A good father, yes. A good ex wife yes. I said, so what's the issue? He's not being considered. I said, Mama, not married. But take up the towel now, it's only one thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take up the towel is a little extra so people for real. Problem solved. I had an ex client who said her six year old frustrates her. Because she's brilliant and she puts up a chart and the child, when the child gets up, the child not getting with the program. I say, ma'am, because you know people sometimes feel if you're not a mother, then you can't talk to them or if you ain't married, you can't. I say, ma'am, I'm not a mother, but I want you to ask your friends, share, your, share that story with your friends and tell me what they say next time. She came back and said, they say I was crazy. I said, well, I, I can't tell you that, but maybe you need to adjust your expectations with your six-year-old child and a mom. <laughs> I don't yeah. have the liberty to just tell them what I think, right? Her stress gone. So you'll be, we're laughing, but in our lives, there might be some simple basic stuff that when we change, could totally transform in our okay. internal joy and climate, you know? Like organizing your cupboard so you don't yeah. have to think to find clothes. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, that is if you care, because it has some people, them, they don't care. They could operate in chaos. Some yeah. people count, you know? All right, we have Zane Moore says, how beneficial are herbal teas? Green and black bees, etc. So you need to make sure it's decaffeinated <clears throat> as far as possible. And I don't want to Amen. get too technical with you all, but Google the brand. I don't want to, you know, because I don't want to make it too onerous for you all of you to get scared and say, see me at a dead sometime. Yes, no, I don't I don't want you to leave here with that, but Google the brand because you see the little tea bag and things, some of it could be very toxic. So if you Google the brand you use it, you will see it. If it's on the list of toxic, bam, bam, bam. Um, but generally, decaf is um all right we have a concoction here Fassi's question um 
But before I get to Koshi's question, Katie says this is some great information. I must say thanks a lot. Kwasi's asking onion, garlic, ginger, moringa, okra, guava, mixed together daily. Is this good? What if it works for you, Kwasi, go to it. <laughs> okay, if good. it works for you, bless it, sanctify it, and go to it. As, yeah, for me and my house, drink that. <laughs> as for me and my house, we will probably have one or two of the ingredients. Yes, that's got a lot of stuff in there. As and then and mixing fruit. I think you said you don't recommend mixing fruit with vegetables if you do well, it. Well, had a fruit in there, of course. Yeah, uh, go above. Yeah, go above. Yeah, yeah. Go above. Yeah. in there. Yeah. What's the legs? Yeah. Yeah. So fruits, yeah. fruits always on an empty stomach. And Onika had asked me to share some stuff for um this whole immune system mm -hmm. and COVID. Um, it's, it's summarizing what um I would have said, bringing it together. And it is very personal to me because when I attempted to do chemo and so forth, they had to take their hands off of me and stop. And I was 28 at the time. Um, so at that point, it was like, Lord, what do I do to get my few white cells to work and not you know, and, and I wouldn't pass away from, um, you know, from a cold. And the emotions was the first one. Sleep, well, at that time, I was fine with sleep. And then um, the sugar was a big one, making sure that I don't add, add because sugar suppresses the immune system, all kinds, yeah? and this is a little bit of coconut sugar. By half, for, for a few hours, that was another one. Loading up on nutritious stuff and clean stuff with all the pesticides, that was another one. So you all could draw from this because I literally live with a few white cells. I worked. I didn't wear a mask at the time. I don't like makeout scene. So I used to just say, Lord, nothing missing, nothing lacking, and go to work with a few white cells. So this space that we're in is very familiar to me yeah, because right. for two years until I went away and had the Chinese doctor thing and the Indian doctor and it's real different therapies and machines. And I still use it up to today to jumpstart my spine. Basically chemo and things shut my spine down. Shut my, sorry, shut my bone marrow. <clears throat> now, this is not necessarily, everybody don't necessarily have this experience. And of course, but what are you doing with cancer at 28? So it was an anomaly right through. And so I remembered my white counselor's law and I pulled it from the hospital. I said, Lord, I don't know what to do. I went to St. Lucia, come back a dip lower. And my friend told me about this lady with a machine that you lie down on. And, and I heard in my spirit, go and try the machine. And I went, I subsequently bought one and I did it every day for about eight months. Basically, it massages behind your head and go down and it jump starts your bone marrow to start back to work. So whatever the therapy shut down, with the Chinese therapy of heat therapy, it jump started. And of course, all this was gone because the lady spent all her retirement money, nearly get divorced, and buy these two machines one week before I hear a whisper, go and try this machine. And that is how my immune system started back to work, but it took time. And during that time, I had to do this. Load up on the nutrition, manage the stress, manage the sleep, um, speak life over my body, um, reduce the things that were very toxic for my body, um, drink adequate water, right? So those are the things that exercise, of course, fresh air and sun. Um, I took what I would have taken vitamin C, so I always leave in natural stuff, so I will do more juicing, etc. So you all will do well to follow these guys, but hey, don't look for no Z, Zing, D, E, F, and G, and you're unhappy, and you're stressed, and you have unforgiveness in your heart, and you're not sleeping. What you're doing? Expensive yeah. urine. Ex no you're just passing it out. The emotional <laughs> part. Urine. Yeah, expensive urine. So the emotional part, that is where we are boosting your immune system. But sleep, that's what you're boosting. And then we work on the other thing. So I know that was important for Nick to... Okay. Yeah. Um, Karen, yeah. before you forgot what to do, determine what to stop doing. Um, Katie says sugar addiction is really serious. Um, let me see. Kimberly, you have to really make a lifestyle change. Yes, and decisions to cut off certain foods and support is needed. Well, for me, that is. Katie, I'm trying to cut it out, but inconsistent. I think I think the effect it has on you is similar to drug addiction. Um, Kimberly says when you do cut it out completely, you wouldn't believe how you wouldn't miss it. Yes. You can you can do it, don't give up. Yeah. Um, Katie, yes, that is a fact. I stopped using sugar in my tea at least. I consistent with that. Yeah. Um, Justina, I'm a teaaholic. What is the best tea to drink? It's your choice. Just the caffeinated Google your brands. As for me, I'm a peppermint girl. 
Um, I'm a sour sub girl. I'm a ginger girl. Um, I tend to with the others like cocoa. One thing I tend to want milk in it, so I, I yes. just don't bother. Yeah, um, I, but I like my dad was Grenadian, so I would boil the actual chocolate as well for one that nice rich chocolate and put coconut milk in it. So your choice, just keep it clean. Okay, Kimberly, thing I stopped using a microwave years now. I use a soup oven for everything or stove. Um, to win a right, there's no microwave yet. Crystal Martin, what I love beetroot. Crystal, yeah. some people, um, they they the they churn by that beetroot thing. Um, Katie, well, they're real unique, but it has some unique people on this beetroot. Yeah. <laughs> beetroot. I mean, I'm not beetroot, not like, over. Just do a doing. Let me see. What I like beetroot, it tastes good. To win a right, freedom, that thing. Okay, so to win. I think Tyler already said it. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, yeah. that's what you said after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is like what you were doing with your um to test for okay for psychological results. Oh no, nah, that I will, I will Google it. Let me do it anymore. Um, let me see, Marcia Price. What about drinking cold drinks or cold water after meals? Well, I don't know if you missed it, Marcia, but generally half an hour before, two hours after meals is how your, your drinking pattern should be. So you don't mess with breaking down digestion. If you have to drink in between a quarter or half a cup, otherwise plenty liquid when food there impairs digestion. Um, room temperature water is generally advised. Um, but I mean, a little cold water now and again, no problem. You don't really make things a low if it wouldn't kill you, right? You, you, you sweat, well, you drink some what, cold water. What cold water does do you do? People, let's say cool water, not good for Um, and before you right. answer, I your, your body operates all of the functions, and your body operates at a particular temperature. Um, right. But when you're drinking cold water, it's like you're taking a step back because your, your system operates efficiently with a particular temperature, kind of thing. Um, there are different uh, schools okay. of with that too. Some people think yeah, the cold water will help you burn more, to, does your heat up, push the heat up your body, kind of thing. But generally, okay. if the system function at best at a particular temperature, you know, so you want okay. to work with that flu. Okay. Where's I think team? that's the reason why she may have asked that is because I know some people recommend drinking tea after you eat. Yeah, I know. And they also recommend um, a cup a cup or two of water before you go and sleep. But my thing is if that going to make you get up three times any night and disrupt exactly. your sleep. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, so... Um, Katie says, oh, that's something different to what I was asking, maybe because I'm into psychology. Um, in it's just that, asking that question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I drink warm water with ACB and lemon every morning on an empty stomach. Is every morning too much? Um, a tablespoon is fine. The lemon is fine. Just use a straw to protect your enamel and your teeth. And it should not be done when you have acid reflux and stomach issues um, of the burning nature. And it could be silent reflux or reflux, burping, bloating, burning. You don't want to do the as ACV and you don't want to do the lemon. Also, I, I still didn't get the research to explain to me why, but I have some clients who, they have no acid reflux, but they say every time they use lemon or ACV, it makes their joints hurt them. And I still didn't get the research to explain why. Because it's supposed to have an alkalizing effect on the body. So it, don't apply the rule because everybody doing it. If you're joint certain, you know. If it revving up something in your digestive system, no. But generally, yes, it helps the cleanse and so forth. Just protect your teeth. Okay. Um, Rosanne, I just had a quick question myself. I am, a lot of times people say that the vitamins that we tend to buy, it basically doesn't do much for you and you just... It just basically comes out in your urine. So I don't know if you have any recommendations with regards to brands and stuff like that. Yeah. To that, that, that one is always tricky for me um, because I try to get most of my stuff from the food sources. I will say, um, well, it, it, it's you asking, right, Eva? Oh, yes, sister? Yeah. You, right. So me. I will say do the energy test that I showed you. And that energy test, if, you, if it gets stronger, it is because it is doing something positive for your body. If it is weaker, okay. it's in a green tea, but you don't do nothing. So that's one good way of um, testing it. But a general multivitamin, I can't speak to a brand. When I ask the pharmacist, they say, well, woman, they say, I like, I would say just test it to make sure it kind of agrees with you. I like a B complex, especially when you're getting older, nervous system repair, sleep, etc. And most of the stuff I kind of juice my way into it, kale, wheatgrass, ginger, turmeric. 
Um, but just make sure it agrees with you and don't go off on fats. Not because everybody uses them probiotics. They use that. Some people gas in on the place. Why? It's too strong and it is the wrong strain. There are different strains of probiotic and according to your gut issue or your health issue, it could make your situation worse. So don't go hurry, hurry, get advice and they could do the energy test to see if it agrees with you. Okay, and you mentioned the juice, but for me personally, I think it'll be real hard to make like my smoothies and stuff without fruit. Because I typically try to put at least one fruit in it to help taste of it. So, yeah, have it's, it. not, yeah, yeah. it's not have a pleasant it. experience. Yeah, no, it's not. And it's I have not one. Yeah. We need to do his best for you, Eva, in a drink and a smoothie for drinking yeah, a smoothie yeah. steak. I know, but I'm thinking, okay, this is healthier, and my way of making it taste good is by dropping in some banana, because banana mm -hmm. could well change the taste of something. Now, nah, so is that uh, that will take some adjusting. Um, should <laughs> I have a question? Um, is the most a superfood? And after you answer this question, I don't have any more questions here. So, if there's anything else you would like to add, Ruthan, that because I mean, most of the show ended up being the questions being answered, right? So, I'm not sure if there's anything else you didn't get to speak on that right. you're like. So, um, yes, it's considered a superfood. In fact, um, people who were doing chemotherapy when the blood count and my time was low, that thing really used to shine for it. That said, persons with IBS, it's not um, all see, see weed of any form for people with certain gut issues. It does not favor it. But yes, it's considered a superfood. I ain't no boy. I grew up with it with my condensed milk and things. So I don't know what I am on milk. Coconut milk thing will work out with that one. So go with God <laughs> with that. Um, <laughs> just in terms of, um, well, like I said, you all could reach reach us at our St. Bernard Health Coach.com, our St. Bernard Health Coach.com, or call a message 310 2930, 310 2930, 310 2930. Good. Um, so just bringing it together. If I'm to separate the different issues, we spoke about the immune system. In terms of weight loss, my clients generally lose 8 to 10 pounds a month. I did People think I lost a lot, but I did worse than all of them. I lost like for about 4 to 5 a month. So they just be dropping inches, doing just what we spoke about. Of course, working together individually. We get your, you get your mental okay, your sleep. So you lost 5 a month, you say, Rosa? I lost five. about 4 or 5 pounds a month. I, they were laughing at me. I tell them it's okay. What do, you, what do old people say? You take a long way to reach. It's all right. Because they generally lose 8 to 10 pounds a month or an inch. An inch oh, okay. Um, so I say it's all right. I will reach. Um, so generally, 8 to 10 pounds, um, when you're doing weight loss, you know, I tell people half the plate with veg and the more raw you can eat it better because cooked food is dead food. Cooked food is generally dramatic, right? As you mark it in there. Cooked food is dead food. You get proteins, you get some trace minerals, some omegas, but the, the life force. You ever see when dog, oh gosh, a real country, actually, not a real country, but you ever notice when dogs sick, they just stop eating and go and eat bush? The yeah. life force is in raw um, stuff. I'm not sending you to raw, 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 but if you just. And no one does say that they're going to eat bush. When they... <laughs> and that's why a lot of the cancer treatment centers abroad I was in is just. Um, every every hour we they drank an hour a glass of raw organic juice because that's when full nutrients, healing, cancer, the alkalizing, oxygen comes in. So the more raw or partially raw, like chunky veg and thing, you can eat it better. This is weight loss, people. But get that sleep, manage that emotions, have your meatless days, and you're eating whole stuff steroid from the junk food. That's weight loss. Lifestyle diseases, so diabetes, your plate, um, Diabetes, people with PCOS or even fibroids, people who generally have insulin sensitivity, it is important for you to look up glycemic index. That is a measure of how the food affects your blood sugar. You should eat a gly glycemic index of 55 and under. So if this is your plate, half your plate, loads of veggies, and you have peas or meat, and then you have your starch. That's generally how we get that sugar level under control. You can have fruits, but very um, low sugar fruits. So Sapodilla is out, watermelon is out, low sugar fruits. Um, the, the hormonal concerns, you animal food is not your friend. Just remember that. The people that go on PCOS reverse and fry boys shrinking, animal food is not your friend. That said, if you have to have it, try to have it organic, no steroids, no hormones, and no more than two to three times a week. People who are approaching menopause understand that the way God made your body, your adrenal glands are supposed to kick in, to produce some hormones to help complement, or for that matter, bad PMS and all those concerns. 
the thing is, because we have rocked up our bodies in the youth, the adrenal gland, by the time we approach in menopause, so shot that it can't produce the estrogen and so forth. So personalities change. We are angry. The belly fat, the anxiety, the sleep, we transform. Especially as women, men go through their thing too, eh, with andropause and testosterone, whatever. Um, so it's important to make sure that the emotions, right? You're not stressed. Um, you're taking time out. You're loading up on positive emotions. You're sleeping, you're eating, right? To help the hormones balance, right? And get those results. So cancer and cancer prevention and the lumps and so forth. Again, animal food is not your friend. And an alkaline state, an oxygenated state, by dint of lots of raw and veggies, low sugar, rich, um, vitamin-rich food will serve you really, really well. Um, gut issues. Gut issues is a major one. Um, so for constipation, the things that we talk about, well, Onika, you could have testified that already you saw some radical changes. Something as simple sometimes as water. Plants yeah. come and have a problem. I have a problem. What's your problem? I go enough twice a day. I say, welcome. Welcome. Like, they do believe me when I tell them that's how it's supposed to be. So they, yeah. they want to go to, water, go to the doctor because you're having more than one bowel movement a day and they had two for the month. I said, welcome. This is what it's supposed to be. So, yeah. so constipation works its way, its way out. But um, IBS, you need a particular eating plan. Acid reflux, a particular eating plan. And I give you the five groups. Provisions, um, nuts and seeds, animal food in moderation, um, sweet fruits, and I'm missing one. Veggies would help to heal up the gut. Um, immune system, mm -hmm. we talked about all of those things will go a long way to help with immune system. And generally, fruits in moderation, lots of veggies, um, peas, make sure and soak and pressure cook your peas so you will get less gas, low sugary stuff, the caffeine, the alcohol majorly out. Yes, yeah, stay um, away from that caffeine. Um, <laughs> the, the wheat, <laughs> things from wheat and I talk, can't say, yeah, off bread, we're eating for dinner. Well, I just have a few pricks every, um, every, um, every day. And I just have a few pricks, that's flour too. No, I, I want you to have your bread. Eh? So we give in your bread, no, but not necessarily from wheat, right? And you have to mix it up to why you can have a soup for breakfast. What does soup do you? You can have some soup for and is it, is it channel? Eat a cup of channel with the um, accoutrements, was the term, the little thing. What do do you? So mix it up. Um, yeah. A soup and for breakfast, okay, okay. Some food. Great. Well. I never thought of it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 your colon. Great. Um, your health will spring forth and that. So um, signs that we healthy, energize. You can get up without an alarm clock. Um, you're not bobbing and sleeping after meals. You're not having no discomfort in your stomach after meals. And you're pumping with energy. Your skin is bright. Um, you don't have high perspiration. You don't have no aches and pains. And let me tell you, in summary, trust your gut. If you have a little sprint to go and check something, go and check it. And most of all, perfection is not required. If you make some small changes over time, it will add up. So if all you could start with is water and emotion, start. Listen, if you're laughing hard and drinking water, you better than a cartel, any big percentage of people, you know, because it means yeah. all your organs just smiling, your liver pumping, your colon working, your immune system, because you're laughing. So you could start there, okay. start with the water. So start with well, Ava is very healthy then. <laughs> yeah, she is. Onika, could you, could you send us a picture of yourself and... Every morning, people could watch it and they could have a good oh, laugh and drink God. water. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's enough picture for us. And every morning, we could watch it and laugh and drink but some nothing, water. And... Nothing else is super in the morning when fix for cat. Nothing else is super in the morning when fix for Yeah, right, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. We got a little soup in the morning. Yeah. But so Roseanne? That has been awesome yeah, being here with you. We, Thanks for and obviously all your everybody got a lot of free information, but yeah. you all check her out and you all see is good stuff she's talking about. She and she consider it. She insane to cut off the cooks, but you will lead all it down apart. So you know it's a pathway to, and you just work with them and obviously because it, it's not you alone, right, Rosa? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have we have different coaches specializing in different things. Kyle's internet uh, probably got cut off. So, um, Ava, you have another giveaway to do, right? I have all my giveaways to do. Oh, you done. haven't done any? Okay, no. okay. <laughs> Kyle, you want to continue? I know no, no, no I, I was just saying that, um, yeah. you know, that so, you can contact her and you all, you know, because obviously you all hear all the information and she obviously she's leading on your good part. 
So I encourage everybody to maybe take it, take your health serious. That is something you really have to do. Do we wait till you actually have an issue. Yeah, because um, also, Roseanne, it's not you alone, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's different I people. More deal, I more deal with the internal stuff. I have persons who do more the physical stuff and then internal medicine. So I tend to more deal with the nutritional stuff. But the physical stuff, there are different areas the two other therapists will deal with. Okay. Awesome. Well, Ava, you close off the show. Roseanne, we thank you for have, joining the stream tonight. Thank you. And, Much yeah. appreciated. It's a pleasure. Have a good night. Thank you got you. You Ava. All right. So, guys, thank you all so much for all of your comments. Thanks for your questions. Um, I want to personally thank Rosanna as well. Um, this was some really good information, some really good free information. Um, so I hope this really encourages you all to see that there's certain simple things that we can do to really improve our health, our lifestyle, our sleep, our diet. It's, I mean, Rosanna literally touched on everything tonight, all right? So um, I want to encourage all of you viewing to make that extra step, to make that effort to start. And um, something that I've realized over trying to do things myself is you always say you'll start from Monday, you'll start from a uh, day, start from like right now, okay? So start making uh -huh. certain, certain commitments from right now um, so we can see change in our lives, all right? I don't want to talk too much. I want to do my three giveaways. Let me see who I'm doing these giveaways to. All right, all right. Okay, this had a hard real comment tonight. Um, but I'm going to go just Justina Batiste. Congratulations to you, Justina. You are the winner of our first giveaway. That doesn't mean that it should now start, but I'm finally just doing my giveaways just because of the quality show tonight. Um, let me see who else. Marcia Price. Marcia, I think you're always doing the show, and I'm not sure if I ever gave you a giveaway. If you were ever able to win anything. So congratulations to you, Marcia. You are the second giveaway. And for my third and final giveaway, Gina Romani. I'm not sure if I have seen Gina's name here before. So if you're here for the first time, Gina, congratulations and welcome to the Real Talk Show. And anybody that was here for the first time, I really want to say a special good night to all of you. And a special welcome to all of you. And I hope that we see you in the next show. We are here every other Saturday at 7.30 p.m., guys. Um, make sure you're here for the next show. Make sure and click on the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the notification so that immediately, as soon as we go live, you are here with us, right? Because we want you all here in every show. We want you all to comment. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your questions. I mean, tonight was definitely that, um, that forum where questions are being answered and usually we try to have that form all right again i want to say thank you for everybody viewing every person that shared tonight i want to thank all of you as well and i really look forward to seeing all of you in the next show now if things stick as stick to as we have it planned we have a real interesting show for you all next well not next saturday but the following saturday so guys be sure to tune in i promise you you will be entertained um of course you're going to take something away in every show and every real talk show you're going to take something away as well all right so guys i really want to see all of you that are here tonight and make sure you bring somebody else as well all right i want to see all of you in the next show and i just want to remind you all you all can check out Roseanne. her website is www.rstbertnardhealthco ach.com, right? So that's www.rstainsbernardhealthcoach.com, right? So y'all can check out, reach out to Roseanne. Really awesome information. Just by this information, I'm sure you all know that you'll be in good hands once you reach out to her, right? Thank you guys for viewing. Thank you for being here with us. We had a really awesome night sharing with all of you. And a special thanks again to Roseanne for the time and all of the awesome information she shared with us. Guys, I want to say good night. We love all of you and we look forward to seeing you in the next show. All right. Good night. Bye, everyone.